I mean, everybody in Hollywood was there. I mean, if we, you went through the party, like every select, I mean, we had red carpet, people were showing up, and my boss knew, like, yeah, I wanted to be a director. So at the time, he put me with one of the biggest director, um, um, James Cameron, who literally just just released Avatar. Okay, yeah. And Avatar was like the biggest movie that year. And man, it was just crazy to just like be his security guard at the Avalon walking him through. But you started to see everybody it was like, hey, meet my wife. She's also da da da. Meet my thing. And every room we had to go, there was a pause. James, everyone was trying to talk to James Cameron. And, and like, you know, when you were the, the man or the shit in Hollywood, I didn't know who these people were, but they were in these VIP sections and everyone had to steal him for five minutes. And I could hear like actresses like, hey, like, you know, I, I'm on this TV show. Da, da, da. Like, I mean, we had all types of like producers, directors, everyone was just coming up to him. And I was like, wow, like you got the biggest movie um, of the year. You know, that Avatar back then was like when it first came out, it was like the movie like it was crazy okay so um you were basically his security for this night yeah um were you able to talk to him a little bit at all or i didn't i i had to keep it professional um and and i at the time i had nothing to be honest i had nothing there was nothing for me to pitch to him i was a guy who's shooting unknown artist music video you know but i was doing it you know but there was nothing for me to like hey like i have the script or i have this uh this pilot or I have this, like I there was nothing for me so I just kept it professional and obviously you know at the time the nightclub was my main source of income so if I got feedback or something I would like lost my job and I had to find something new yeah. um, but was that like a surreal moment for you or were you already kind of you know mingling with so many celebrities that you were just like, oh another like big celebrity yeah I, I think at that point it, it, it became the norm because like I mean we would have events we would have you know our nightclub we had a uh, so there was the Avalon there was an upstairs bed VIP club called um, Spider Club at the time which is now called Bardot but back then Spider Club was like the celebrity hotspot it was like um, small capacity lounge style, style thing I mean Ryan Gosling DJ AM before he passed away um, Steve Aoki I mean um you know, Leonardo DiCaprio, of course, and like just a whole bunch of actors just came through the doors. So it was just a, it wasn't, it was the new norm for me, uh, compared to what we were doing in Boston. But, um, and it wasn't like something where I was like, too good. You had to be professional at that point. But like, celebrities would have come in. Paparazzi would be in the front. So it was very like the Hollywood uh, premiere place to be. So we saw it, and, and by the time Leonardo DiCaprio had his event, because it, it was an annual event, I've seen, like I said, Black Eyes Peas had a private birthday party for, like, for Taboo, I think. Yeah, and, yeah. And that was just, they closed down the whole club and just invited everyone that they knew. So we, like, through, through many events leading up to that one, um, it was just be professional, you know. Okay, like, okay. Like, you know, and that was, and that, that was just, like, the philosophy, like, like you know, if you're a security guard. You don't, you don't get hyped up on something. You know, you gotta yeah. stand your ground, do your job. Um, but, but I think it was more the experience. You know, like, yeah. You know, so. Was it like inspiring for you to see James Cameron and like? Kind of like oh yeah, stuff? no, I mean, uh, trust me, I was like a little, little boy, like oh, I'm like you know, fanboy, like oh my god, but I just like just, uh, keep that face on, <laughs> like, like, walk around, like hey, back <laughs> off, like and you over, you know, I just had to do my job, and in the back of my head, I was like oh my god, he's here, he's looking nice to me, you know, like for sure, you know, so so for sure, for sure, I was like definitely starstruck, but I like again kind of had to yeah. keep that mask on, and I was you know I was an actor, right, so I had to do my acting and yeah. play my part. 